your companions, your friends, your circle, marafiki wale ambao uko nao. Unafaa kujitahadhari sana usiwe na marafiki wale ambao watasababisha wewe uzidi kuona ya kwamba hufai, uzidi kuona ya kwamba wewe huwezi kutekeleza jambo fulani katika maisha au, shu, 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 au shuleni. Utaona katika skuli itakuwa kuna challenge kidogo kama ni maths, kama ni physics, kama ni somo lolote lile. Ikawa wewe katika akili yako imekupitikia kwamba hili somo ni gumu. Kisha ile kukiti kwako tu mkaanza story na mwenzako na yeye pia akakwambia bwana unaonaje somo fulani ni gumu sana wewe pia ukasema bwana ni kweli bwana Asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillahi alladhi hadana li hadha wa ma kunna linahtadiya lawla an hadana Allah Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam le tumekutana tena katika klasi zetu hizi tukiwa na test ya last week wiki hii kwa rehma yake Mwenyezi Mungu alhamdulillah tutakuwa na wanafunzi wetu hapa wawili ambao walipitia katika klasi zetu hizi na insha Allah iwe ni kielelezo kwenu wakimaliza hawa tutataka wengine pia waje tuwape topic waje wazungumze hapa ili kuwashajiaisha na kujitoa hofu katika kila ambalo wewe ulikusudia kulifanya kama ni masomo kama ni, ni shule insha Allah ukija hapa utakuwa wewe wailimika na wailimisha na wenzenu leo nataka kueleza kuwa wiki ijayo tutakuwa klasi yetu itakuwa imeshift itakuwa msikiti wa Musa Watu wa Musa, msikiti wa Musa, Masjid Musa wameangalia hilo progress yetu sisi. Wakaonelea hilo to introduce msikiti wa Musa vile vile. Hima ambayo nyinyi mnaonesha kujitolea kwenu kutaka ku create awareness basi imewapa moyo mkubwa sana kule msikiti wa Musa. Kwa hivyo wiki ijayo Mungu akipenda tutakutana hapa ngomeni saa kumi na moja na nusu wale ambao eji zao ni kubwa. Saa kumi na moja na nusu tayari tusha arrange transport mtakuwa na msimamizi wetu hapa Omi the kids atasimamia mtapelekwa kwa transport na mtarudishwa kwa transport vile vile kwa hivyo mkifika saa moja na nusu tutakuwa ngomeni pale arrangement zote zitakuwa zimeshafanywa kwa hivyo tuwe na hima ya kufika pale waone kule tuoneshe mfano old town sisi tuko vipi bila kupoteza wakati leo kama nilivyotangulia kuzungumza tuna wanafunzi wetu wawili hapa ambapo nikiele watatu swali kwa tayari pia inshallah nafasi iko kila mmoja atapata nafasi alafu kama mtu atakuwa na maswali atakuwa aweza kuuliza maswali na iwe ni mfano kwenu kama klasi zetu kama hizi hii ambavyo mnafikiria hapa zinaweza kukupeleka kiwango gani inshallah bila kupoteza wakati assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin 
Sayyidu na Habibu na Muhammad amma bad. Kama unavyotangulia kumsikia babu jina langu mimi ni Abdul Qadir Jamal Muhammad Naji. Ni wengi wamenizoea kama kama Jamal. Na sisi paka leo kufika hapa tulipofika ni hii class ya motivation ya Ustad Babu Ali. Na pia bila kusahau fadhla ya aliyenileta akaniongoza katika hizi hii class ni almarhum Shuaib Shuaib Al-Maawi nafikiri mnamjua wengi mnamfahamu Shuaib tulikuwa tunasoma naye istikama yeye ndio sababu ya mimi kuwa hapa leo niko mbele yenu nazungumza Sasa ningependa tumkumbuke na Shuaib na suratul ikhlas tatu kila moja inshallah Bismillahirrahmanirrahim qul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد قل هو الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد ان شاء الله منزيم غم رحم na mpe pepo ya juu inshallah amin mada ambayo tulikuwa tumepanga tuzungumze inshallah ni about confidence tunafahamu na tumekuwa tukielezewa na ustad babu ali that we have five keys of success in life we have five keys of success in life the first key is passion The second key is persistence. The third key is a burning desire. The fourth key is believing in yourself. And the fifth key is faith. Mada ambayo leo tungependa kuzungumza na kukukumbusha nyinyi it's about confidence. Where confidence it relates to faith. Kwa sababu watu wengi leo mashuleni makazini mtu yuko katika biashara yake au mtu binafsi yeye na nafsi yake peke yake kinachomfanya yeye ashindwe kutekeleza yale anayotaka kutimiza katika maisha ni kukosa kujiamini that's why tumeonelea kidogo tukumbushane about confidence na tuangalie vipi sisi tuna nguvu ambayo sisi hatujui tunayo katika mili yetu confidence it is a feeling or belief towards something or someone a feeling or belief towards something or someone ni kuamini ya kwamba ni kuiamini kitu ni kuamini jambo fulani au kuamini kujiamini wewe mwenyewe if confidence will be defined as a belief or feeling of someone that person should be you You are supposed to believe in yourself. Watu wengi leo sana sana wanafunzi mtu yuko sawa kimasomo. Kinachofunzwa na mwalimu anakielewa, anakifahamu. Lakini kwa kukosa kujiamini anashindwa kupita mtihani. Kwa kukosa kujiamini anashindwa kwenda katika skuli na kufanya assignments ambao mwalimu anampa. It is all because all all because of confidence. Lack of confidence. What is not confidence? Confidence it is not comparing yourself with someone. Haujilinganishi wewe na mtu. Haumwangalii mtu yuko vipi na mimi niwe, niwe kama yeye au zaidi kama yeye au zaidi yake yeye. Confidence ni kujitambua wewe mwenyewe. Uangalie mimi nina nguvu nina nguvu gani ndani yangu? Mimi nina uweza gani? Mwenyezi Mungu ameniruzuku nini? What unique what that unique trait that I have in me? That unique attribute that I have and you extract it from yourself. Ujue ni vipi mimi nitatumia nguvu ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu amenipa ya kujisaidia mwenyewe bila ya kuwa na hofu ya kutekeleza matalaba yangu nayoyataka kutoka kwa maisha. Confidence it is not walking into a room thinking that you are better than anyone. Confidence 
si kuingia katika sehemu au hivi sasa sisi tumeketi akaja mtu akaona yeye ni bora kutuliko sisi sote hiyo haimaanishi confidence what is confidence confidence it is believing in yourself and believing in others believing in the good that you have in you and believing in the good of other people kuna quote inayosema a flower does not think of competing to the flower next to it it just blossoms So tusifikirie kwamba sisi kuwa wabora kuliko sisi, tuna, sisi ni wabora kuliko mtu aliyekuwa karibu yako kama ni darasani ukawa unataka kushindana na mtu umuoneshe yeye wewe ni bora kuliko yeye that's not confidence confidence ni kujiamini to know yourself to know your true self what you are self awareness what you are supposed to be kujua mimi nina nguvu gani ndani yangu mimi na ninaweza kutumia vipi hizi nguvu zikanisaidia katika maisha yangu kutekeleza goals zangu zile goals that i have set in my life how will i achieve them that's what confidence is all about nikachukua some tips of having self confidence of which the first tip of having confidence is what we call self awareness and self awareness You cannot have confidence if you don't know yourself. Mpaka ujijue, ujifahamu, ujitambue ndio utakuwa na confidence ndani yako. Hauwezi kuniambia unataka kutekeleza kitu fulani katika maisha na hauwezi kujiamini. Hauwezi kupita katika mtihani ikiwa huna ile yakini ya kwamba mimi najiamini nitasoma, nitafanya vizuri na nitapita katika mtihani wangu. Ikiwa ni mfanyabiashara, hauwezi kuwa na prosperity in your business ikiwa kama huwezi kujiamini ya kwamba mimi kitu fulani naweza kukifanya na nikakitekeleza ikawa ni sababu ya mimi kufanikiwa katika biashara yangu for you to have confidence to have a firm confidence first wanasema man arafa rabbo arafa nafso aliyemfahamu mola wake amejifahamu mwenyewe ukiangalia watu ambao wana prosper kwa katika life without stress without shortcuts ni wale watu ambao walitangulia kumfahamu Mwenyezi Mungu walipomfahamu Mwenyezi Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu akaweka karibu na wao na wao wakafahamu ya kwamba mimi naweza kufanya jambo fulani peke yangu kwa kuwa najiamini na Mwenyezi Mungu tukiangalia katika visa vya manabii utapata manabii walimtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu wakawa na confidence kiasi ya kuwa wakafanya yale mambo ambayo ilikuwa haingia kilini wakati wao watu ambao walikuwa wanakosa kujiamini kwa sababu walikuwa hamfahamu Mwenyezi Mungu mfano nabii Musa alayhi salam alikuwa amejiamini ya kwamba yeye ana Mungu alipowachukua bani Israeli wakawa wanataka kuvuka katika bahari walipofika pale baharini wale bani Israeli wakamwambia unatuleta wapi wewe hapa ulipotuleta sipo sisi tushakamatwa tusha na tushauawa na Firauni lakini nabii Musa kwa kuwa alikuwa na confidence anajifahamu yeye ana nguvu gani akasema inni ma'ya rabbi sayahdin mimi nina Mwenyezi Mungu mimi nina Mola wangu atanisaidia kwa sababu nabii Musa alayhi salam alitangulia kumfahamu Mwenyezi Mungu hasa wewe pia iza kuwa uko katika maisha ima uko darasani ima uko kazini ama uko katika biashara yako umefika mahali ambapo uoni tena mbele lakini kwa kuwa ulitangulia kumfahamu Mwenyezi Mungu anakupa ile nguvu ya kuendelea kusonga mbele anakufungulia njia we mwenyewe unastaajabu una, una hii njia imepatikana vipi na hii yote inasabab, inasababishwa na kumta, kumtambua na kum, kumfahamu Mwenyezi Mungu ukiangalia katika historia ya Nabii Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam alitangulia kumfahamu Mwenyezi Mungu akawa na yakin na uweza wa Mwenyezi Mungu uweza kumsaidia yeye mpaka unaambiwa katika kisa kimoja nabii Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam alikuwa ameketi kwenye mti anajipumzisha kidogo akaja kafiri akachomoa upanga wa mtume Muhammad akamuuliza mtume nani atakaye kuokoa wewe na mimi leo nisiweze kukumaliza nisiweze kukuua mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam kwa kuwa alitangulia kuwa na confidence kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na akajiamini ya kwamba mimi ninachokiamini ina nguvu kuliko kila kitu duniani akamwambia Allah 
kwa ile yakin ya yeye kutoa Allah katika nafsi yake na katika roho yake na Nabi Muhammad yule kafiri akaangusha upanga kwa uoga hasa confidence ni kitu ambacho tunafaa ku develop katika life yetu tuji tuwe tuiweke katika mai, katika mind zetu tuwe na confidence itatusaidia kutekeleza yale mambo ambayo tunayafikiria na ni sisi wenyewe ndio tunajiwekea hizo blockage katika life ya kwamba we cannot achieve this we cannot achieve that under self awareness you must have a mentor lazima uwe na mtu ambaye atakufahamisha wewe ni nani aliyekuwa na experience aliyetangulia aliyekuzidi kiumri aliyekuzidi kiakili aliyekuzidi kielimu akakufahamisha wewe ni nani ndio utafahamu ya kwamba kweli yale ninayoyafikiria mimi si kweli isipokuwa haya anayonieleza huyu anaitwa mentor ndio ya kweli kwa mfano kama mimi mnavoniona hapa mimi nasimama nimeketi mbele yenu nazungumza nilikuwa siwezi kuzungumza hivi mbele yenu Nilikuwa naona sina uweza wa kuzungumza mbele za watu. Nilikuwa naona sina uweza wa kusimama au kuketi mbele za watu kuzungumza. Nika, nika alhamdulillah through Shuaib akaniongoza akani link na Ustad Babu Ali. Ustad Babu Ali akawa ni mentor wangu. Nikamuelezea shida yangu. Shida yangu kubwa it was lack of self confidence. Ilikuwa siwezi sina ile kujiamini katika skuli sina ile kujiamini katika kufanya mitihani yangu sina ile kujiamini katika maisha ya kwamba kweli mimi jambo fulani naweza kulifanya lakini through Ustad Babu Ali alhamdulillah ambaye ni sababu Mwenyezi Mungu amemleta yeye nimeamini ya kwamba kweli kuna vitu mimi naweza kufanya licha ya kuzungumza mbele yenu kuna vitu kule nje naweza kufanya through guidance na teachings za Ustad Babu Ali ukiangalia katika kitabu The Leader Who Had No Title chapter number 1 Ayn Rand anakuambia the greatest gift one could offer others is the sight of an achievement. Ustad Babu Ali alitambua ya kwamba mimi kinachonisumbua ni fear na lack of confidence. Aka extract zile treasures zile madini ambazo ziko ndani yangu possibilities zangu capabilities zangu akaniambia wivu unavyofikiria kuhusu wewe about fear about lack of confidence it is not true you are just instilling fear by yourself We mwenyewe unajiwekea block katika akili yako ya kwamba kitu fulani mimi siwezi jambo fulani mimi siwezi kukitekeleza i cannot do this i can do that unajiwekea mwenyewe there is that what we call subconscious mind you are giving a negative auto suggestion of yourself unajieleza kwamba mimi siwezi kufanya jambo fulani mimi siwezi kutekeleza kitu fulani na subconscious mind ilivyokuwa na tabia yake uhakika wake chochote utakachokiambia itakuletea katika me, juu ya meza yako ukimwambia mimi uki, ukijiambia kwamba mimi naweza unaweza kweli na utafany, utafanikiwa kama ni, kama ni katika skuli somo fulani linakusumbua ikiwa ni maths ikiwa ni science kama uko primary kama uko secondary ikiwa ni biology ikiwa ni chemistry ikiwa ni physics watu wengi sana walikuwa na mentality ya kwamba physics ni ngumu through lack of confidence wakawa na ile akili ya kwamba ni ngumu ni ngumu na ikawa kweli ikawa hivyo hivyo ikawa ni ngumu hata mtihani ilipotoka wakafanya vibaya kwa sababu wao walitangulia ya kuona ya kwamba hii ni somo ni gumu hasa through confidence we can achieve a lot out of life tip number two your companions your friends your circle marafiki wale ambao uko nao unafaa kujitahadhari sana usiwe na marafiki wale ambao watasababisha wewe uzidi kuona ya kwamba hufai uzidi kuona ya kwamba wewe huwezi kutekeleza jambo fulani katika maisha au, shu, 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 au shuleni utaona katika skuli itakuwa kuna challenge kidogo kama ni maths kama ni physics kama ni somo lolote lile ikawa wewe katika akili yako imekupitikia kwamba hili somo ni gumu. Kisha ile kukiti kwako tu mkaanza story na mwenzako Na yeye pia akakwambia, "Bwana unaonaje somo fulani? Ni gumu sana." Wewe pia ukasema, "Bwana ni kweli bwana, ni gumu sana. Ili somo hili mimi nalisoma basi tu." 
Mimi na nasubiri tu mwalimu muda wake wa kuzungumza uishe aende zake niendelee na mambo yangu. Lakini maana kisielewi kwa sababu ile circle yenu wale marafiki ambao mnao wanaweza kusababisha ukao ukajiona wewe kweli haufai katika maisha. Wanasema if you surround yourself with five confident people you will be the sixth. So marafiki wale ambao mnajeka karibu nao ni muhimu sana mjeke mara, na, karibu na marafiki hata kama ni mtu mmoja rafiki yako mmoja ambaye atasababisha wewe kujitambua kuona ya kwamba unaweza katika maisha kuona ya kwamba you can achieve this you can achieve that it is possible someone who give you an hetero suggestion that is positive towards you kitu ambacho akikizungumza inakupa nguvu ya wewe kuendelea ya kukuli, kujiletea manufaa ikiwa ni shuleni ikiwa ni kazini ikiwa ni kwenye biashara so marafiki ni kitu muhimu sana ku develop self confidence. Tip number three ni set small goals to achieve daily. Set small goals. Usieke us, don't be someone ambaye anaweka goals too high goals that you can't achieve. We have long term goals and short term goals. Focus on the short term goals. Short term goals sema katika siku mimi nita read only one page something positive i'll be i'll be feeding myself with something positive per day only one page of a book ikiwa ni kitabu chochote i'm sure babu ashawapa kama ni leader word no title kama ni kitabu chochote babu ashawapa or, or any article of motivation or any quote angalia nitaifanikisha nita vipi on my daily routine set small goals wanasema it is in the mountain ahead that wear you out it is the pebble in your shoe angalia ni nini ninacho hivi sasa ambacho nataka kuki achieve what right now do i have that i want to achieve out of my life ikiwa ume set goal each day each morning every morning nikiamka asubuhi nitafanya around two questions nitafanya revision this is a small goal and make sure you achieve it you will develop confidence in the long run you will identify that nimefanya mengi na nimefanya makubwa na in that process you will realize that your confidence is increasing na most important ni talking to yourself zungumza ya kwamba mimi naweza hili jambo mimi nitalitekeleza hili somo mimi nitalielewa hii biashara mimi nita nita, nita, nita katika hii biashara kazini nitafanya vizuri nitafanya kazi yangu vizuri jiamini na uzungumze kwa uzuri kila wakati na Zungumza kwa zungumza mwenyewe talk to yourself you will see that that power that is in you inafanya kazi vizuri through talking to yourself tip number four in developing self confidence is uh, face what weakens your confidence kabiliana na kile ambacho inasababisha wewe kuogopa kuendelea mbele ikiwa ni katika skuli ikiwa kuna somo unaona ni gumu kabiliana nalo kila siku ikiwa kuna challenge ambayo na kuchallenge katika maisha yako ikiwa ni shuleni itakuwa ni masomo ikiwa ni somo fulani na kusumbua kabiliana nalo kila wakati mfuate mwalimu msumbue msumbue rafiki yako yule ambaye unaona anaelewa he face every morning every night before you sleep angalia vipi mimi nita face haya maswali nitayafanya vipi huyu mwalimu nitamuuliza vipi maswali ikiwa unaogopa kufanya biashara fulani take the risk you will develop confidence in the long run so you have to face what you fear what makes you lack confidence you have to face that's tip number four. tip number five, ni visualize yourself as you want to be visualize yourself tasawar katika akili yako tasawar katika mind yako ya kwamba hivi ninavyotaka mimi kuwa tayari nishakuwa anasema Muhammad Ali a man who, are, who has no imagination is like a man who has no wings you must imagine you must have those imaginations that are positive that will help you to achieve what you want out of life ikiwa ni shuleni kuna somo linakusumbua imagine ya kwamba tayari ushaelewa ile somo ushafahamu mwalimu amezungumza nini ushaelewa wewe imagine pia wewe unawafunza wenzako through imagination 
things will happen. Jifikirie ya kwamba ninachokitaka nacho, nishakitekeleza, nishakitimiza. Nisha achieve what I want. You visualize what you want to be, what you want to become. Through that process, you will realize that you have developed self confidence and you will be moving forward with firm belief that anything that I want to achieve it will be possible and I will achieve. Tip number 6 ni affirm yourself. Affirming yourself it goes hand in hand with visualizing yourself. Kwa sababu kuna quote inayosema ya Muhammadali it is the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. Once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. You affirm yourself through visualizing that, yes, I have become confident. You affirm yourself through believing that, yes, what I want to be, what I want to, be, what I want to become, I am already what I want to be. You affirm yourself daily. You talk to yourself that naweza. Somo fulani mimi nishakuwa bingwa katika ilo somo. Ikiwa score imewekwa na mwalimu ni 60%, mimi napata 70%. Ikiwa ni biashara fulani, investment nataka na pesa fulani, mimi nishaipokea hiyo pesa. Nishaekeza katika hiyo biashara. Ikiwa ni kazini umekewa goals fulani u achieve for performance review, unataka uangaliwe kwamba kazini unafanya vizuri. Sema mimi nisha 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 tekeleza vizuri kazini, nishafanya vizuri kazi yangu, nishafanya kila kitu vizuri. Through that process, you will realize that you are developing self-confidence. And the most important thing, you have to talk to yourself. Because we have a voice that weakens us. Kuna sauti ambayo kwamba ni shaitani. Mwenye zimgu anatuambia katika Quran. Inna madhali ku shaitan yukhawifu awliyaahu fala takhafuhu mwakhafuni inkuntum mu'minin. Na imani ni confidence. Because tukio. Tukirudi nyuma kidogo tulitangulia ku define confidence kama something believing in something or someone and believing in something it is Allah believing in someone it is Allah first you believe in Allah that yuko hana mshirika second ni mtume wake wa mwisho ni Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam alafu pia kujiamini wewe mwenyewe you have to believe yourself to believe in yourself lazima ujiamini na utambue ya kwamba hii sauti ambayo ni ibilisi na wafuasi wake kazi yake hiyo siku na mchana ni kuhakikisha wewe hautekelezi matakwa yako katika maisha ni kuhakikisha wewe unajiona hufai ni kuhakikishia kuha, wewe ya kwamba hauwezi kufanya mambo ambayo yatakuletea faida katika maisha yako kwa sababu shetani siku zote anakuahidi ufukara na umaskini lakini Mwenyezi Mungu anakuahidi fadhla na kheri na anakutakia mazuri Mwenyezi Mungu Subhanahu wa ta'ala Ukiangalia number 7 apply apply auto suggestion talk to yourself zungumza peke yako it will develop confidence kwa sababu ya wakati ningependa kumalizia na quote yangu ya mwisho katika kitabu the leader who had no title anasema if one advances confidently into the directions of his dreams during difficult times and endeavors to live a life which he has imagined to live, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. These are the common hours that we used to hear about success. These are the common hours that we used to hear about self-confidence, about desire, about passion, about persistence. Na leo alhamdulillah, we were there. Sisemi ni nini, lakini I was there, sitting there. Nimeja hofu, siwezi kuzungumza meliza watu, siwezi kufanya kitu kule nje, siwezi ku... Nilikuwa nakosa na ile kujiamini lakini alhamdulillah leo through teachings za Ustad Babu Ali nime meet na pa, one of the stages of my success ya kuwa confidence in life na nyinyi pia mshikamane na babu article za nawapa muzitumie insha Allah salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh khair jazakallah khair jamal jazakallah khair Mwenyezi Mungu atujalie inshallah iwe ni nuru kwetu sisi na yote ambao tunasikia hivi sasa inshallah Tomorrow is the destination of every successful loser Kwa kila siku yani this is a bank wajua kesho kesho tomorrow tomorrow this is a bank 
watu wote tunasikia ah inshallah kesho nitaanza kuswali inshallah kesho nitaanza kusoma inshallah kesho nitafanya hivi kesho nitafanya hivi sasa jamaa anasema this is a very big bank ambao kuna a lot of things here tomorrow but unfortunately hakuna mtu ambaye yaifika to get more videos of abu shurain don't forget to subscribe like and share May Allah guide and bless the person who shares the videos.